The next security control is custom rules. And here you can create rules that are not covered by the standard rules or to quickly patch new website vulnerabilities. So uh, first to create a new custom rule, you will click on the ellipses, go to manage custom rules, click on the plus sign and you will see the template. You can start by first uh, providing a name to your rule. In this case can be test. You can add a description if needed and then move to the next section, which is the rule criteria section. Here, you can select whether you want to specify a sample rate based on a percentage of incoming requests that your rule will apply to, or even if uh, there is a specific period of time that you want this rule to apply, you can just go ahead and do that as well and set up a date or date range. Um, if based on your use case, these options do not make any sense, just uh, you can just simply skip them. Um, next, you have the rule structure uh, with the match criteria that the rule will take into consideration to trigger. So here you can specify if the rule should be executed when all of the parameters in the match criteria are present or any of these conditions are met. So uh, let's say here I would like to add a rule that matches a specific host name that I'm going to add here, www.example.com. And then every time I see a specific user agent, I would like uh, to have this rule to trigger. So I'm going to add that value here just very quickly. And then I can continue editing my custom rule. So um, every time I see a request coming for this um, name and has this user agent, this rule will trigger and I can specify the action that it will have. So next are reporting data here. I can select whether I want to include details in my log data when this rule triggers and add a name tag to quickly identify this rule on web security analytics. So after you have finished editing, you can save the rule and add the action. So in this case, it could be either monitor or deny when you're ready. So I'm just going to click on cancel and show you an existing rule. In this case, after you have saved, you will pro you will see your rule uh, here and then you can set up the action, which, uh, like I said, could be either monitor in case you only want to have visibility about this uh, for now. And, and then at some point you have the option to move, of course, to deny mode to start mitigating. So after you have made all of your changes, you can go ahead and deploy this on staging and then in production.